So Kumino has finally announced their official airdrop. And if it's anything like the Jiro token, it'll be worth thousands of dollars. So with this official airdrop announcement, there's been a ton of liquidity entering the platform. So with the culmination of season one fast approaching, I wanted to cover the top farming strategies where you can earn the most boosted points within the platform. And that includes borrowing and lending, providing liquidity, multiplying your tokens, and going long. So with the snapshot date fast approaching, you definitely want to start farming your points now. So Camino is a borrow and lending and liquidity platform built on Solana. So on the homepage, app.camino.finance, you would navigate over to the point section and view the points hub. So season one is wrapping up soon. So at the end of season one, the snapshot will be taken and the first airdrop will be distributed. The airdrop amount will have a direct correlation to the points earned during season one. So the best way to amplify your points is going over to the rates and boost section. And the top three ways to boost your points would be to lend in the supply section, to borrow under the lending section, and provide liquidity to one of the various liquidity vaults. So as you can see, if you were to borrow or lend some Solana, you would earn a 5x boost. If you were to borrow or lend USDC, again, 5x boost. Same with USDT. You can even borrow or lend some of the popular meme coins currently, including Bonk and Whiff. So quickly, some documentation for supplying in Camino Lend, you will earn one point per dollar per day. Borrowing under Lend, you will earn one point per dollar per day. And providing liquidity into one of the various vaults will earn you one point per dollar per day. So let's say you want to lend some Solana, you would go over to the Borrow Lend section. And under the Sol section, we do see our current APY for lending. So we would click on Supply. So let's say we wanted to supply 0.5 click on deposit and confirm the transaction. Great, that was successful. Below that, you do see that you can also borrow as collateral USDC, which would earn you the 5X. So obviously you can't borrow and lend the same tokens. You would have to borrow an equivalent amount and only borrowing stable coins. So we would borrow the USDC under here. So we would click on borrow. So directly tied to the amount of liquidity I'm providing, I'm able to borrow 224 USDC currently. So I'm gonna keep it pretty low for this demonstration I'm just going to borrow $20. The borrow APY is 2.6%. I'm not too worried about the borrow APY rate. Now, the objective here is to farm airdrop points. The borrow APY is minuscule compared to the amount of airdrop you will receive. And obviously, after you receive the airdrop, you can choose to unwind the position to close it out and repay the debt, or you can continue borrowing and farm for season two. Now, if you've borrowed USDC, he's a pretty creative loop you can continue farming points with. You can in turn grab your USDC as shown here and swap it back for even more soul. And then you would grab that soul and supply even more into the Solana vault. And in turn, you would 5X your boost there. And if you want to get creative again, you can continue borrowing more against that position in either USDC or USDT. It's a pretty ingenious loop. A lot of DeFi farmers use this. Obviously, there's risk involved. You don't want to get liquidated. So I don't recommend doing this loop more than once or twice. And this would only work out in the short term. The point here is to form airdrop points. So we've covered supplying and borrowing. Now we'd want to provide liquidity to a liquidity vault. So when you provide liquidity, Camino then deploys those new tokens into various DEXs and you earn trading fees just for being a liquidity provider. So we sort by TVL. We see the most popular pools are Jirosol, Jupe Jirosol, and Jupe Bisol. And it shows you the corresponding decks it's deposited it into Orca, Meteora, Radium. There's even a stable section. So if you want to keep it relatively safe, you can provide liquidity to various stable pools. So for example, if you wanted to deposit into this USDT, USDC, you would go to deposit. The cool thing is Camino allows you to do single-sided deposits. So so you don't necessarily need equal ratios of both tokens. Even if you have a single coin, that works perfectly. So with my USDC, I'm going to go ahead and load this up. And so the seven day APY rate for lending is 13%. And again, I'll get this 5X boost for doing this. Make sure the single sided deposit is checked on and hit deposit and confirm. Right, and you'll see your new position posted in the my position section. And when the fees begin accruing, they'll be posted here. So those are the top three ways you can boost your points within Camino Finance to 
amplify your airdrop amount. You're also free to use the multiply section, which essentially loans out your coins during a flash loan and your paid fees for loaning it out. Or you can use the long short section, which is almost like a perpetual where you can go long on a token or short it. But keep in mind, long or the multiply section are not boosted currently. I recommend sticking with the top three strategies for now so you can continue accumulating your points. So what are my thoughts on this Camino airdrop? I'm a huge fan of the platform, but there has been some controversy on the Snapchat date announcement. This pre-announcement has opened the doors for a lot of whales to come into the platform and begin farming points. So the more wallets are involved in the protocol, that means the overall airdrop amount is diluted. So less of a share of the pie for everyone. This is a good marketing strategy for Camino and hopefully a lot of the early users stick around after the airdrop is distributed. There will be multiple seasons on the platform so I personally will be holding and continue to utilize the platform to receive multiple airdrops throughout the year. So we'll keep an eye out on the total value lock and see if this continues to increase over time or after the first airdrop people will begin removing their positions. So for now keep accruing your points and as always if you have any questions please leave a question in the comment section I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.